I have to give a shout out to a DJ named Afrojack, who I'm not going to lie to you. I never heard of the guy. I'm not in that fucking world. And everybody's sending me this thing where he took a clip of some shit. I guess I talked about DJs like a couple years ago. That's how it works on my podcast. I'll say something and it, it takes like two years before anybody really hears it. Like that Kardashian thing or the Yoko Ono thing. Like I said, those, like they, they, I did the podcast and it go like two years goes by. And then somebody who actually has a, uh, a podcast with influence like Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan blew up the Yoko Ono thing. Um, so anyways, people were sending me this shit and he did like a, I don't, do you call it a song? Is it a track? Is, is it a something else? I don't know what the fuck is. I don't know what it's, I don't know what the fuck it is, but he, he somehow lined the shit up and, uh, he put me in a song and, um, as much as I still don't get what the fuck is going on, I, I, I want to thank the guy because there's a bunch of young people in the crowd and, uh, you know, performers, you need that. You got to keep getting the next wave of young people. As your fans start to get older, they have kids and they can't even go out if they want to go out. You know what I mean? Like he just, he probably just stopped me from going on cruise ships. He delayed that for another like six years. So thank you very much, Afrojack. I don't know if, if your name is Afro Jack. Like, that's your first name, or it's, if it, your name's Jack and your nickname's Afro Jack, like, you know, Billy Red Tits. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I appreciate it. Thank you for, you know, whatever the fuck, you know. How, how have you said it? How, however you kids say that shit. Um, you know, it's funny. I actually watched this thing one time with Nia recently, this documentary on DJ AM. Can I just say that again, and you guys, so I can make you cringe again, the fact that I, as old as I am, just said that name. Um, on DJ AM and I watched it and uh, I actually started to understand like, oh, what I, to see the, I know there's an art to everything, but I actually was really starting to understand it. And Nia was talking about how one time she and a friend of hers were in New York and went to some fucking club and that guy was DJ in there. And she said it was like the sickest night ever of music. And, um, you know, within 10 minutes of being in the club, everybody's like, who the fuck is the DJ? And then they figure out it's that guy. And I don't know what it is. It, I guess it's like what song leads into the next song and you're, you're changing the energy of the crowd, which I'm relating to stand up, right? You don't open with your closing bit, but you got to open strong. Then you got to take them on a ride. You bring them up and then they're going to, they're going to be burned out. You got 40 more minutes. What do you do? You take them down a little bit and you start building it back up down a little bit. And then you drink them a fucking, yeah, you know, it's like wrestling. It's like when I did uh, stone cold's fucking, uh, podcast. And you talk about how you bring them up, down, up, down, up, down, a little more higher, a little bit lower, a little higher, and then you get them right in that last fucking moment, and then they, they fucking explode and go nuts. So, I don't know. I haven't said that. Well, I, I just fucking, I like seeing live drummers. That was that problem I had when I went to go see fucking Lady Gaga. Like, I can, I can go see anybody if I can see the band. She had a band in a fucking house. They're like, it was in this fucking castle, and she's riding around on a goddamn horse. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ, I believe, was my quote. 